Last September, Angola's capital Luanda turned into a global hub for peace in Africa as the city hosted the first edition of the Pan-African Forum for the Culture of Peace, also known as the Biennale of Luanda. Over 60 countries were represented and the Biennale attracted government representatives, countless international organizations, NGOs, companies and artists. Over 800 participants shared ideas, built new partnerships, and engaged in cultural events, all with a common goal, reinforcing a culture of peace on the continent. The Biennale is the result of many years of joint efforts by Angola, the African Union, and UNESCO. I believe it is important for us as a continent to come together and have these discussions about where it is that we wish to go and then how we're we going to achieve that. Um, our leaders have always spoken about African Renaissance. Perhaps it is time that the younger generations also participate so that um, we, we, we can bring this dream into fruition. The Biennale was organized around three axes. The Partners Forum, the Forum of Ideas, including the Youth Forum and the Women's Forum, and the Festival of Cultures. The Partners Forum focused on how to build innovative partnerships for inclusive democracy and peace in Africa. The Forum highlighted the essential role of each partner, including international organizations, the financial and private sector, foundations and media, as well as civil society, artists, and cultural entrepreneurs. The Forum stressed the importance of working together to grow the movement for peace on the continent. The Forum of Ideas offered a platform for dialogue on the future of Africa, focusing on solutions to prevent and resolve conflicts. Conversations highlighted the importance of culture and education, a free press protecting displaced people and migrants, the contribution of African diasporas, and concerted management of natural resources. As part of the Forum of Ideas, the Youth Forum recalled the profound aspiration of young Africans for peace and security. They shared innovative ways to reduce youth unemployment and tap into their creative potential. Under the general topic, Women and the Culture of Peace, the Women's Forum focused on how to end all forms of violence against women and the role of women's networks for peace in Africa. Yes, we talk about how Africa needs to waken up. The youth are a big phenomenon in, on our continent and they need to be given a chance. So with us, we are, with our creative expression, gives us this upper hand to showcase what it is that we have. So it's very important and it's a milestone, especially like for the youth to be part and parcel of this. With more than 15,000 visitors, the Festival of Cultures illustrated the role of artists as peace ambassadors for the continent. From the African continent to the African diasporas, over 200 artists from 16 countries participated in the festival. They showcased Africa's great diversity of expression in film, music, dance, and gastronomy. In their own way, the artists engaged with the public in a celebration of the senses. Expectations are running high for the next Biennale, as the first edition reached nearly 2 million people worldwide through UNESCO's social media platforms. Over 400 news articles were written about various aspects of the event. The Biennale of Luanda brought together the African continent and its diasporas to build new synergies and anchor peace efforts in Africa's diversity and universal values. The Biennale also promoted youth and women as key agents of change as Africans strive for more inclusive and peaceful societies.